Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the thermal resistance concept in heat transfer. Thermal resistance means it is a resistance offered by the material to transfer the heat. And that is called as a thermal resistance concept. And this resistance whatever is there offers for all the three modes of heat transfer. For example, conduction, convection and the radiation. It is similar to that of the electrical resistance. To transfer the electricity, the watt resistance offers that what we call it is a electrical resistance. Here it is a thermal resistance. And the thermal resistance analogs to the electrical resistance. How that I am going to explain. First, we will take for the conduction. The Fourier equation for steady conduction through a constant area plane wall can be written as that is Q conduction is equal to minus K dt by dx by the Fourier law and that can be written by the simplify the equation of the heat transfer through a plane wall or a slab that is a K T1 minus T2 by L. K is the thermal conductivity, A is the area normal to the heat transfer and T1 minus T2 are the temperature difference between the two uh, sections of the solid where the heat transfer is taking place and that is L is the length of that solid. And this equation can be rearranged as Q conduction is equal to T1 minus T2 the denominator and all together we will take in the uh, numerator T1 minus T2 in the denominator the what other terms remains that we are going to take that is L by K and this gives that Q conduction is equal to thermal potential difference to the thermal resistance. Thermal potential difference is the temperature difference. The temperature difference is the motive force for the transfer of the heat. The temperature difference is the main cause for the transfer of the heat and that is the motive force which offers the to transfer the heat to the thermal resistance, the resistance offered by the material. Here we can type that is solid. Okay, this is the temperature T1 and T2. There is a thermal potential difference between the two uh, sections of the solid and heat is transferring through it. And resistance offered by this material that is the thermal resistance. And here we can take that is a Q and in the resistance way in that if you show it that is a temperature difference and this is the resistance that is called as a R thermal. R thermal. Okay, R thermal R of that wall, it is R wall also we can call. And as I told you that one, it is analogs to the electrical resistance. Okay, here when the electricity is passing through the certain, uh, that is a line, then there is a voltage difference. The voltage, there is inlet, there is one voltage V1, the exit, the other voltage. The current is passing. The current remains constant. And here, as we know that, uh, okay, that is uh, current is equal to V by R. The current is equal to V by R. That is EMF by R. That R electric, electric. Okay, that is electrical resistance. This voltage difference to the electrical resistance will give the current. That is the electromotive force. The electromotive force to the elect uh, electrical resistance will give the current. Okay, similar to this one, the heat transfer we are going to take. The same, that is the electromotive force to the, that electrical resistance will give the current and here the thermal potential difference to the thermal resistance will give the heat transfer. This simplified equation we can write for the wall, that is a Q conduction is equal to T1 minus T2 by R wall and R wall can be written as L by K is the thermal resistance of the wall against the heat conduction or the simply conduction resistance of the wall. And here there are a number of walls are arranged in series of parallel and for that we will call as the composite walls and for the composite walls the resistance what are there I am going to explain in the another session. Next moving to the for convection. Now, for the convection, the heat transfer across the fluid or within the fluid or 
from the solid surface to the surrounding fluid based on the Newton's law of cooling, we can write that is Q equal to HA TS minus T infinity. That is H is a heat transfer coefficient, A is the surface area, TS is the surface temperature, T infinity is the ambient temperature. And this can be rearranged as the same, the Q convection that we can write the T1 minus T2 by 1 by HA. The T1 minus T2 whatever are there, this is TS minus T like that. The, it is a thermal potential difference to the thermal resistance for the convection heat transfer. And that is the R convection what we can write 1 by HA. Okay, that is R convection is 1 by HA is the thermal resistance of the surface against the heat convection or simply convection resistance of the surface for the convection heat transfer what the resistance offered by the surface okay that we will call as a convection resistance the similar way how we have expressed for the conduction here also we can express then moving to the radiation for radiation thermal radiation between the surface area A and the, its tempera at temperature Ts and the surrounding at T infinity temperature can be expressed as by the Fourier law of con uh, Stephen Boltzmann law of conduction, the heat transfer or a heat radiated okay, between the uh, that is certain solid and the surrounding fluid, and that can be written as epsilon sigma a epsilon is the emissivity of the surface, sigma is the Stephen Boltzmann constant that is 5.67 into 10 raised to minus 8 watt per meter square Kelvin raised to 4, and a is the area of the radiating surface and the Ts is the temperature of the radiating surface raised to 4 and this T infinity is the surrounding fluid temperature and in this equation what is there the simplified way we can write as the H radiation multiplied with the A and temperature difference the simplified way okay this we can simply that is a conduction uh, that is a radiation heat transfer is equal to the that is a convection heat transfer if you take then that equation we can write like this and similarly the simplified way we can write the temperature difference to the R radiation resistance of the radiation and R radiation is a 1 by H radiation A or we can write R radiation is equal to 1 by epsilon sigma A the simplified way we can write this one okay this is the resistance offered by the uh, whatever the substance is there for the three modes of the heat transfer I am taken and here that is in the different cases the resistance can be taken for the composite wall and uh, the different the heat transfer like the conduction convection and the radiation that we can take according to the particular example and that I am going to explain in the further sessions thanks for watching if you like share subscribe